Talat is one of the first Crimean Tatars to return to this region of southern Ukraine. He was among more than 200,000 Tatars who were sent to Central Asia in 1944 in one of Joseph Stalin's mass deportations. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, many deportees and their families have returned to their homeland, but very few have been able to return to their original home. I came here in 1989. I have three children, now five children. The children are now going to work. And to take a house, excuse me, in Ferropol, it's a very difficult question. I was one of the first in this time to get into this time, and I live in this time in this time. I want to make my children чтобы мои внуки находились в центре цивилизации. Я не отбросок общества, который, где мне руководство скажет, чтобы я там жил. Я хочу здесь жить. Это моя родина. This settlement is known as Birlik, meaning unity in Tatar, because Crimean Tatars have resettled here alongside ethnic Slavic Ukrainians. But for many, moving here was a last resort. Tatar repatriates found no official support in trying to reclaim their old homes elsewhere in Crimea. Instead, thousands settled near Simferopol, where they've sought to acquire land legally. But they say they've been stonewalled by Ukrainian bureaucracy and they're stuck in limbo as squatters. Even returnees like Talat, who have been here for years, are now threatened with potential eviction. Private companies are seeking to acquire the government-owned land, leading to growing pressure on the squatters. Вот сейчас погода потеплеет. И здесь будет строиться, и там будет строиться, и там будет, все поле будет строиться. И хотят вот это вот у нас отнять. To make matters worse, there are signs of ethnic and religious tension. A mosque in the settlement burned to the ground in December, and some Tatars suspect arson. But Berlik residents, including ethnic Slavic Christians, have banded together to raise money for a new mosque. And a separate effort by Crimean Tatars to build a mosque in Simferopol has finally received official permission after many roadblocks. Meanwhile, the Crimean Tatar Mejlis, the body that represents the minority's interest to the Ukrainian government, is continuing to press for the land rights of repatriates. Оці більше ніж 15 тисяч людей, які зараз по Криму, які зайняли землю, але вони не узаконені. Ці люди, люди це зробили відвідчою, бо влада їм не давала цю землю. Ми сьогодні домовилися про те, що крок за кроком ми розглядаємо кожний масив. І е, кожна людина, яка має відповідне законодавство України право на отримання земельної ділянки, має її отримати. The returnees of Berlik may have to wait a long time before their squats become legally recognized homes, but the right to live in their homeland is something worth waiting for.